So welcome everyone to our first Avila Army Rosary Crusade Against the Darkness, the darkness both outside of the church and around us and even inside with all the difficulties inside. It's incredible to see the excitement and enthusiasm around this time of prayer together. We've had uh, around 10,000 people registered who will be praying with us tonight. And there's more, right? There is, that. there is. Many are gathering in their homes and parishes around the world. So you, all of us together are among a beautiful and great cloud of witnesses. Amen. Thanks to in advance to all of our rosary leaders out there who have been who have busy lives and apostolates, but know how important this is. And dioceses, by the way. Right, yeah. right, yeah, wherever they are. Um, and who are joining us tonight. Our Lady has assured us of her victory, just as she did 450 years ago at the Battle of Lepanto. She has promised us that in the end, my immaculate heart will triumph. And what an honor to be asked to participate in her assured victory with the Holy Rosary, this sacred weapon that we wield together against the darkness of our times. This event is the culmination of many weeks and months of hard work, love, prayer, conversation. And we really appreciate our team behind the scenes working hard to make these things run smoothly. For all of you out there, as part of your intention, please pray that the technology will be our friend tonight, as well as all of your personal intentions and our primary intention that is pushing back the darkness and that Our Lady's heart will triumph. You know, a lot of folks don't know or understand that the God has desired ends or chosen ends, things that he wants to bring about. And he also has chosen means. So he has things he wants to occur and he has ways that he desires those things occur. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people don't realize is prayer is a necessary means to an end. I heard somebody the other day uh, was being critical about the church and said, we don't need to pray about this. We need to do something as if praying is not doing something, mm -hmm. as if praying is not the means through which God works. And we know it is the means through which God works. So, and as we pray, we lift up our hearts and minds to the uh, Blessed Mother, to meditating on the person and work of Christ, the most important events in the history of the universe, of all of creation. We offer up these intentions and we are being uh, participating. We're being instruments in the hands of God to bring about what we believe he wants, which is of course, the salvation of the world, the advancement of the kingdom of God, the healing of our nations. We have so many different nations represented tonight. We have Cardinal Arborelius will be on as an example from Sweden. And so we, so we have people from all over the world, from Africa and all of the continents, probably. I don't know about Antarctica. But anyway, as we join together, we are doing the most important thing because Jesus said to Mary, uh, to, to Martha, Mary has, has chosen the better part. Mary has chosen the most important things. We always say all things for God begin before God on our knees. So we all have to work, that's true, and we all have to act and we all have to fight for what's good and holy and just and right and that honors God. But first we, we must pray. pray. We gotta, we've got to pray. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, offer our opening prayers. You wanna uh, tell them a little bit about the method that we're oh, gonna yeah. be using tonight? Good, sorry. So we're gonna be using the contemplative rosary, which is, uh, something that uh, John Paul II proposed in, in his uh, apostolic letter, Rosarium Virginis Mariae. And it's a way of bringing a shedding light on each mystery. So we will, at the apex of every Hail Mary, refer back to the mystery. So as an example, uh, the first sorrowful mystery is the agony of Christ in the garden. So we'll say, uh, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. So we'll do that in each of the mysteries yeah. uh, to the best we can with all of these, you know, different folks who are, who are going to be leading us at, at various points. Uh, if you'd like to follow along using that approach in some beautiful imagery, download the Contemplative Rosary app, which has the images and the 
clauses and a lot of other different kinds of prayers that are very beautiful. Yeah, and I, I even want to mention that just a few nights ago, for those who follow us on spiritualdirection.com, it'll be posted at some point. I don't know if it's up yet, but I did host a webinar with uh, the co-author of the Contemplative Rosary that yeah, you wrote this book with her. The app is based on this book. Right, and, so yeah. Connie Rossini and I were on together and we had an awesome time discussing contemplative prayer and the contemplative rosary and how these two um, work together so check out that as well because it was it turned out to be an amazing webinar spiritualdirection.com yeah all right yeah. why don't we go ahead and begin our prayers we're going to begin uh, the way we do in the apostoli via community we are because we are praying all of us together we have the opportunity to gain indulgence and so we're going to begin by uh, offering up and our Father and a Hail Mary for the intention, the holy intention to the Pope as well for the Pope's spiritual well being and for his constant conversion. Okay. All right. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, for these intentions, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord <clears throat> is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For an increase in faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in love. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dr. Willis, I believe you're muted. Um, excuse me, there I go. My name is uh, Dr. Anthony Lillis. I'm the academic dean of St. Patrick's Seminary in Menlo Park and um, the husband of Agnes and the uh, father of three kids. And um, tonight, um, as we approach the joyful mysteries, uh, there's so many things that we could be praying for. I know you have your own intentions. I invite us also to pray for the, um, for the unborn, for their safety, for their, uh, for their health, uh, 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 for uh, those unborn who, um, who are suffering, um, uh, who, who maybe uh, this very night uh, lives may be in danger. We uh, pray for our society, 
in relation to the unborn. We pray that we will become a people who welcome life, who treasure life, who care for life, that uh, we receive in our hearts, that our hearts be turned and converted to the gift of life. The joyful mysteries that we're going to uh, pray tonight, uh, 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 starting out, are the portal uh, through which the saving mystery of Christ Jesus comes to us. Mary, the new Eve, unlocks this door with, with her fiat, and the Trinity rushes into the world with hidden and unresistible force, the power of love, a love that overcomes evil, that lifts up the lowly, that enters into suffering, that fulfills every promise, and surpasses all hope, a love that finds us, that questions us, that astonishes us. In the form of a vulnerable child, love comes to us and speaks to us, the love of God, to make all things new, to help us find the Father's house. Our ministry is to pray for the church and especially for priests. Our intentions are for an increase of reverence to the real presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and for the end of abortion. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel announces the incarnation to Mary, fruit of the mystery, humility, scripture for meditation, Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Our father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. As we forgive us, we trust us, and lead us not. But deliver us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us sinners, now and ever. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in thee by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now and ever. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now and ever. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now and ever. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now and ever. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus who was conceived in you by the Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, pray for us now. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Draw all souls to heaven, especially those who death will speak of your mercy. Pray for us, Mary, cause of our joy. That we may follow God's will in perfect humility. Hey guys, I'm Chris Stefanik with Real Life Catholic here with some of my family. And a grandbaby on the other side who you might hear scream while we pray. <laughs> we'll do our best. Uh, the second joyful mystery is the visitation. Uh, this is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out, proceeding in haste, into the hill country to a town of Judah, where she entered Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leapt in her womb. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and cried out in a loud voice, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And who am I that the mother of my Lord should come to me? The moment your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby leapt in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who trusted that the Lord's words to her would be fulfilled. Then Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations shall call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. 
he has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Lord, we pray that we be animated with the same spirit of charity that animated your mother, that as soon as she was filled with you, she rushed out of herself to visit her cousin Elizabeth, and she rushed out of herself to worship and to praise you. We pray that with that spirit, we would change the world and bring light into the darkness. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, sins, save, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all, all souls to heaven, heaven especially those who are most needed by mercy. mercy. I'm Archbishop Cordiglione of the Archdiocese of San Francisco. And the third joyful mystery is the nativity. Jesus is born in Bethlehem. The fruit of the mystery is poverty of spirit. Our scriptural reflection comes from the gospel of Luke chapters, chapter two, verses four through 17. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of Judah, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in that region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, 
be not afraid. For behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you was born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, my Jesus. Forgive us, save us, save us, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, cause of our joy, that out of love for Christ, we may detach our hearts from material things and the esteem of the world. Hi, everyone. I'm Father Donald Calloway the vocation director for the Marian Fathers and uh, author of books like uh, Champions of the Rosary and Consecration to St. Joseph. 
So with that in mind, we'll offer up this decade for a greater love and devotion to Saint Joseph. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. The fruit of the mystery is obedience. The scripture for meditation is from Luke chapter 2. And when the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And inspired by the Spirit, he came into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up into his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory and for glory to thy people Israel. And his father and mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against. And a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, cause of our joy, that we may wholeheartedly obey Christ and his church. Good evening. My name is Father Dave Pavanka. I just want to let everyone know of our prayers. Uh, I am the president of Franciscan University. A blessing to be able to join everyone on this feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. Uh, in just a few minutes, our campus will actually be doing a walking rosary around the campus, and we'll be praying for everyone participating this evening as well. It's a blessing to be able to pray with everyone tonight. I am the president of Franciscan University, and I've also been involved in various evangelistic outreaches uh, through the province of the Most Sacred Heart of, of Jesus, which is my Franciscan community. I will be leading us this evening on the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. After searching for him for three days, Mary and Joseph find Jesus in the temple, and the fruit of this mystery is piety. We read from the scripture of the second chapter of Luke. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of Passover, and when he was 12 years old, it went up according to the custom, and when the feast was ended, he was near returning. The boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey. And they sought him among the kinsfolk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw that they had been astonished, that they were astonished at his mother, and he said to him, son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. So he said to them, how is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth. And he was obedient to them and with his mother and kept all of these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom they found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom they found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom they found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom they found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom they found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom they found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom they found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, leave all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, cause of our joy, that we may will to seek, find, and embrace Jesus in the Mass and in the sacraments. One. I'm Bishop Joseph Strickland in the Diocese of Tyler, and it's a joy to join you in this Rosary Crusade. The intention that I bring as I reflect on the Sorrowful Mysteries is to pray for the priests of the church, especially the priests that are doing their best to teach the joyful truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ and experiencing some resistance to that from whomever, that those priests may stay strong and may joyfully share the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And reflecting on the uh, sorrowful mysteries, in my own prayer, I like to bring into the sorrowful mysteries actually the stations of the cross as well it gives you a lot more scenes to reflect on you might say but that fourth mystery of the sorrowful mysteries christ takes up his cross is really you could say amplified in the uh the stations of the cross and i love to to think about that whole journey and to recognize Another thing that I try to do with the, the sorrowful mysteries is to always keep them in the context of the joy of Christ being come incarnate, the joyful mysteries, and the luminous mysteries of his ministry, the, his time of proclaiming the gospel, um, and then the glorious mysteries, his resurrection, and then the establishment of the church at Pentecost and all of that, too as believers as followers of jesus christ our sorrows our sufferings should always be in the context of the joy and the light and the glory of christ the sorrow is real but it should never overwhelm us and especially in this time of uh covid confusion and all that we're dealing with in our nation in our families in the world in the church um, the Sorrowful Mysteries, I want to especially highlight keeping it in the context of the joy and the light and the glory of Christ. Because I think a lot of people are burdened with sorrows and fears and confusions and concerns. We are people of the joy and the message, the good news of Jesus Christ. So as we look at the Sorrowful Mysteries, the, the sorrow is deep. The sorrow is real. The Blessed Virgin Mary shares in the sorrow of her son. And as I reflect on the sorrowful mysteries, it really occurs to me, and I, I share this just very personally, that really the sorrows of Christ begin when he becomes incarnate. He chose, as St. Paul says so beautifully, to not grasp at his divinity, but instead to come down to us, to really share the human journey. And it is a valley of tears, as we speak of in the, um, the great prayer to Mary. Um, so the sorrowful mysteries are always in that context. Having said that, um, I think one of the, the things that I encourage and that is important in my own prayer life is that we don't, you might say, sugarcoat the sorrowful mysteries. We allow them to truly be agony, scourging, crowning with a crown of thorns, carrying a cross and dying on that cross. Devastating is probably an appropriate word. The sorrowful mysteries of the Lord of the universe incarnate among us in the deep suffering he experienced is devastating and to me realizing that embracing that he really died 
He didn't just go dormant on the cross. He truly died as one day all of us will die. Our, the life left his body. His heart quit beating. He stopped breathing. He had his last breath and his last heartbeat. The Son of God. I think to focus on that really brings me and hopefully all of us into a deeper faith. He truly died, and that highlights the truth of his resurrection. The sorrows, as I mentioned, the agony in the garden, a lot of times I reflect that that was a very um, spiritual pain, the, the pain of, of contemplating. And we've all felt that in one way or another, dreading something, contemplating something that was difficult, that, were, that we were facing. Our Lord has faced that. So I see the agony in the garden as, as more the spiritual pain. And then the scourging at the pillar, the real physical pain, which was real. We've probably all seen um, various movies depicting the passion of Christ. And we need to acknowledge that this is a real man of about 33 years old and tremendously beaten down already and exhausted and then scourged at a pillar, bleeding. I mean, you don't, I don't want to get too graphic into what his body experienced, but it was real physical pain. And then to add that to the spiritual pain of his agony in the garden, really we can't fathom what the Son of God endured. And the fathers of the church remind us that, and the church teaches that Christ endured that for all of us. For every one of you listening to this, participating in this rosary crusade for myself, for every person. That's the tremendous love of God and of his son in offering his life for each of us. This sacrifice on the cross, we should take as a very personal expression of God's love for us because it is for each of us. The, the fathers of the church Christ, speak of Christ embracing the life of every person who will ever live on his cross. It, we can't fathom how he could do that. But as the Son of God, fully God and fully man, always that great mystery is Jesus Christ. So his sufferings are very real. I hope that as we reflect on the sorrowful mysteries, the reality of his suffering simply enhances our belief that he truly does love us beyond what we can imagine. And that can strengthen us to bear our own cross and to deal with our own sorrows and to take these sorrows into the joy and the light and the glory that the rest of the mysteries, the rest of the journey of Jesus Christ highlights. God bless you as you continue this Rosary Crusade. Hello, brothers and sisters. My name is Teresa Tamio, and I host the Catholic Connection heard each weekday morning on the EWTN Global Catholic Radio Network. It's great to be with you, and I'm so honored to be a part of this beautiful and very important Rosary Crusade. I've been asked to pray the first sorrowful mystery with you, the agony in the garden. And I'd like to offer the intentions for whatever you're suffering through, suffering through right now, and that you allow the Lord to take that suffering and to use it for good at some point. Maybe it's now where you can offer it up, or maybe at some point you'll allow the Lord to show you how your suffering is never wasted and it can make a difference. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus prays in Gethsemane on the night before his death. The fruit of this mystery, conformity to God's will. From Luke's Gospel. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, Father, if thou art willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him, and being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down upon the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow, and he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray, that you may not enter into temptation. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony of the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, in agony in the garden for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in greatest need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, mother of sorrows, that we may humbly embrace God's will in all things. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Hello, Monsignor Steve Rossetti. This is Father Luke Clark from uh, St. Michael Center for Spiritual Renewal in Washington, D.C. Uh, we are a deliverance ministry, and also we do uh, spiritual renewal for, for priests. It's a joy for us to be here with you to pray this Rosary Crusade. Our intention is let's pray the Blessed Virgin on this beautiful feast would liberate many souls from purgatory and also liberate many souls who are suffering from any demonic kinds of afflictions, especially if there's anyone listening or their loved ones who may be suffering in that way. May she uh, spread her mantle over them and liberate them. We have the second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Christ is scourged by the soldiers at Pilate's command. Fruit of the mystery is mortification. Our scripture passage is Mark 15. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is scourged for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever she forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Let us pray. Pray for us, Mary, Mother of Sorrows, that we may accept sufferings and setbacks out of love for Christ. Hello, thank you so much for having me. This is Imakile Ilbagiza. I am um, from Rwanda. I live in New York City with my family. I, I am an author. I have written Left to Tell and Our Lady of Kebeho, my, those two main books. And I give retreats about the love of our dear mother, Our Lady on the rosary and the seven sorrows rosary. And I share my experience, especially speaking about forgiveness. My intentions tonight is to, for the intentions of our dear mother, our lady. She has for our church, she has for everyone who is listening. I also pray that we may come to, to trust our Lord, especially as we meditate on sorrowful mysteries that we may come to remember that the God who is all powerful, who died for us, that even in these hard times, he is with us. And I pray that we continue to have hope in him. He is alive. 
So I'm going to introduce, to pray the third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. The soldiers weave a crown of thorns and press it onto Christ's head. Fruit of the mystery, moral courage. The scripture for meditation, Matthew 27, 28 to 30, John 19, four to six. And they stripped him and put a scarlet rope upon him and planting a crown of thorns they put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him saying, Herr King of the Jews. And they spat upon him and took the reed and struck him on the head. Pilate went out again and said to them, Behold, I am bringing him out to you that you may know that I find no crime in him. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, here is the man. When the chief priest and the officers saw him, they cried out, crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, take him yourselves and crucify him for I found no crime in him. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil, amen. Head made full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your warm Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who has crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who has crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I pray this last two for our church, for the priest, for the bishop, and the pope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, who was crowned with thorns for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead our souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy. Pray for us, Mary, Mother of Sorrows, that we may witness to the gospel even at cost for ourselves. With this, I pray also for families, their unity, love, and peace. Amen. Hi, I'm Kimberly Hahn, wife of Scott Hahn for the last 42 years, mother of six, Nana to 21. I serve in my second term as councilwoman at large in Steubenville, Ohio. And this week we re-released my book, Beloved and Blessed, Biblical Wisdom for Family Life. I have a podcast, belovedandblessed.com and an EWTN radio show also called Beloved and Blessed with Kimberly Hahn. My intentions with this decade is for those who are experiencing grief, especially a particular family in Virginia who just lost their two month old baby. I'm so aware that not only did our Lord carry our sins, but he also carried our sorrows. The prophet Isaiah says, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And so this fourth sorrowful mystery is Jesus carrying the cross. The fruit of the mystery is patience. The scripture for meditation is John 19, 17 and Luke 23, 26. So they took Jesus and he went out bearing his own cross. And as they led him away, they seized one Simon of Cyrene who was coming in from the country and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. Like Simon, our Lord invites us to help carry the cross, the cross he's given us, and to come alongside those who are carrying heavy crosses. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Hail Mary, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who embraced his cross for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Amen. Pray for us, Mary, mother of sorrows, that we may practice patience with ourselves and with others. Good evening. We are the Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia, and we join you this evening from Providence, Rhode Island, where we serve college students at Providence College and our elementary students at St. Pius School. And this evening, we would like to offer these prayers for the preservation of family life and that all families return to Sunday Mass. And may Our Lady intercede for them, and may St. Pius give them victory over all that hinders them. The fifth star of mystery, the crucifixion, Jesus is nailed to the cross and dies. The fruit of this mystery is salvation. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and made four parts, one for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom, so they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it, to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture, they parted my arms among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did this, but standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was not finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A bowl full of vinegar stood there. So they put a sponge full of vinegar on his head and held it up to his mouth. 
When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his soul. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. No Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was crucified for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in those need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, Mother of sorrows, that Christ's death on the cross may save us from sin and condemnation. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, my name is Anders Arborelius. I am Catholic Bishop of Stockholm and also Carmelite. Our Diocese of Stockholm is the Diocese for all Sweden. There are about 125,000 registered Catholics, but many others have come here as immigrants. So most Catholics in our country are immigrants the first or second generation. So my intention is that you should pray for all those people here in Sweden that Christ will become more alive for them, that they will be true followers of Jesus Christ. This will be a little introduction to the mysteries of light. So we ask for God's help in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. Help us to live in that light. Help us to spread that light. Help us to adore that light of yours. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
The Holy Rosary is a gift of God to all the people of God. We can pray it everywhere, in every instance of life. And each one has to find his way of praying the Rosary. Because in the Rosary we are very united to Our Lady. We look upon Jesus with her eyes. We love Jesus with her heart. And that's an immense grace, that we are not alone, that we are really close to Mary and close to Jesus and to all those who pray all over the world. When we pray the mysteries of light, we look upon the official life of Jesus. After 30 years of hidden life, he's baptized by John the Baptist and he starts his public life in order to proclaim the gospel, in order to do the miracles and wonders that are needed for people to understand that he is God who has become man. So, in these mysteries, we take part in the official public life of Jesus, because we too are supposed to show our faith in Jesus to people around us. We take part in his mission. We are his friends, his messengers in this world. And when we pray these mysteries, we become more and more united to Jesus. We are introduced into the mysteries of the gospel and together with Mary, we can reflect upon them, meditate upon them and contemplate Jesus as the true light of the world. And then, of course, we in our personal life have to be faithful to that light. We have to live in his love. We have to get rid of darkness, of sin, and all those things that make it difficult to follow Jesus. So the more we pray, the more we can be transformed by his grace. And the more we can give witness to Jesus to the world. So these mysteries are very important in the Gospels, in the Rosary, but also in our personal life. And that's also a very deep meaning of the Rosary, that we get more acquainted with Jesus in everything he did, in everything he has done for our salvation. So, dear brothers and sisters, try really to receive these mysteries as God's personal message to you. That you are not only looking upon this, it's part of your life to be together with Jesus and to proclaim his message, to show his life, to live in his light and to give this light to people around you. So that's my prayer and wish for all of you, that you will be more and more transformed by Jesus' light, so that you can be light where you live, among those people with whom you live, and that Jesus can use you for his reign, for his message, for his church. So may God Almighty bless you to this prayer, to this service, to this apostolate. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, I'm Father Josh Johnson. I'm the Director of Vocations for the Diocese of Baton Rouge. And today I want to uh, pray for our seminarians, for all our young men who are discerning the priesthood uh, throughout our land and our nation. I'm going to be reflecting on the first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Jesus is baptized by John in the Jordan River. And the fruit of the mystery is openness to the Holy Spirit. Reading from the Gospel of Matthew. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water. And behold, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Good evening. My name is Heather Kim, and uh, I have a nonprofit ministry with my husband, Jake, up in Vancouver, British Columbia, where we work to uh, awaken and restore disciples to Jesus through retreats and human and spiritual formation. I'm also a co-host of the Abiding Together podcast with Michelle and Sister Miriam James Hydland, and you can find that at abidingtogetherpodcast.com. The intention that I would like to pray for is for the healing and restoration of marriages, that the mir miracle working power of God would just heal and restore the hearts of all couples. 
Hi, I'm Michelle Benzinger, and I, like Heather said, I co-host the Biting Together podcast with her and sister Miriam, and I also am the creative director of Greenhouse Collective, and also the author of the, our journal, The Four Women Doctors of the Catholic Church. And my prayer intention is for a deeper trust in the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and an openness and docility to the Holy Spirit and God's glory being fully revealed in our life. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana, and Christ changes water into wine at Mary's request. The fruit of this mystery is meeting Jesus through Mary. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. On the third day, there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the marriage with his disciples. When the wine failed, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. When the steward of the feast tasted the water, now become wine, and did not know where it had come from through the servants who had drawn the water, though the the servants of the water had drawn the water new, the steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, every man serves the good wine first. And when men have drunk freely, then the poor wine, but you have kept the good wine until now. This the first of his signs Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization, be our advocate, bring us to Christ. Amen. Greetings and peace, dear friends. My name is Kathleen Beckman, and I am the author of A Family Guide to Spiritual Warfare and the president of the Foundation of Prayer for Priests. I serve in the church's ministry of healing, deliverance, and exorcism, and I have a podcast, Praying for Holy Priests and Families. My prayer intention now is for a Eucharistic revival and for the holiness of priests, for the healing of all families, especially for our children. My name is Johnette Benkovic Williams, and I am the founder and president of Women of Grace, a ministry outreach to women to affirm them in their dignity and vocation as daughters of God and in their gift of authentic femininity. I've been a consistent presence in Catholic radio since 1987 and a presence on Catholic television at EWTN since 1988. Our program, Women of Grace Live, can be heard on EWTN radio Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, and our television program can be seen on EWTN television at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. I've written a number of books. My prayer intention is for the restoration of the daughters of the Most High God, that they might see who they are in Him, that they might come to see our Blessed Lady as the one who is their model, their exemplar, that they might find through the power of the Holy Spirit the capacity to seek to be an icon of Our Lady in our world today that is definitely in need of that feminine presence that comes by way of the virtues of Our Lady. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom. Christ proclaims the kingdom of God and calls all to conversion. The fruit of the mystery is repentance. Scripture for meditation, Matthew 4, 17, 23 through 25. From that time, Jesus began to preach saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. So his fame spread throughout all of Syria and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. And the great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis and Jerusalem and Judea and from beyond the Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization, that we may truly repent and avoid sin and its near occasion. Amen. We, the Carmelite Sisters of the Most Sacred Heart of Los Angeles, are honored to pray this decade of the rosary with you this evening. Our life of prayer in the contemplative spirit of Carmel flows into our service of healthcare, retreat work, and education, and in serving the whole person. We accompany others through all stages of life. We stand in the presence of the living God and with Mary, make known to the world the love of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. As Carmelites, it's an integral part of our charism to support the priesthood through prayer and sacrifice. And so we would like to invite you to join us in offering this decade, especially for bishops and for priests. 
The Fourth Luminous Mystery, The Transfiguration. Jesus is transfigured on Mount Tabor and becomes radiant. Fruit of the Mystery, Desire for Holiness. Scripture for Meditation is Matthew 17, 1 to 9. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain apart. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is well that we are here. If you wish, I will make three booths here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when, lo, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were filled with awe. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization, and that the desire for holiness may set our hearts ablaze. My name is Father Boniface. I'm a Benedictine from St. Vincent Arch Abbey in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, and Director of Spiritual Formation and Director of the Institute for Ministry Formation at St. Vincent Seminary. I'd like to invite you to pray with me for our seminarians, for all seminarians, for those suffering from addiction, for all those who are oppressed by the world, the flesh, and the devil, that they may come to receive our Eucharistic Jesus through the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Pardon me, through the hearts of Joseph and Mary. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. At the Last Supper, Christ changes bread and wine into his body and blood. The fruit of this mystery is Eucharistic adoration. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup after supper, saying, This cup which is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, 
who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization. Help us receive Christ as you did, with reverence and love. Hello, I'm Father Bill Watson. I'm president and founder of the Sacred Story Institute, and we're very happy to be collaborating with the Avila Foundation on this global rosary on the Feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. The reflections I was asked to introduce are the glorious mysteries. And the reflections I'm going to give you are from my book, Sacred Story, Rosary, and Ignatian Way to Pray the Mysteries. I'm going to mention two things about each mystery. I'm going to talk about what the heart of the mystery is. And then I'm going to offer a prayerful reflection on how I can apply that mystery to my own life, my own sacred story. So the first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. The heart of the mystery, Christ Jesus, by your glorious resurrection, the Father recreates the cosmos and redeems human nature, revealing a new humankind as the purpose and most precious gift of God's creation. I pray to understand how my human nature, wounded by sin, is restored in Christ. What spiritual, psychological, physical, and mental deficits in my life do I want Christ to heal? I can rejoice because the Father sees my broken human nature through Jesus' glory as perfect and inviolate. Because of Jesus' supreme sacrifice and resurrection, I can be certain that humanity is the height of God's creation and its ultimate purpose. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. The heart of the mystery, Christ Jesus, your ascension inaugurates our vocation as co-laborers in humanity's reconciliation with the Father, and thus you exalt us even beyond our privileged place in paradise. And I pray to know and accept my highest vocation with Christ in his redemption of the human race. I ask to be given the grace to witness to Christ in all my thoughts and words and deeds, I pray for the strength to accept the privilege of responsibility Christ Jesus entrusts to me, that I might produce fruit that endures to eternity. I pray to believe that my life has ultimate value and that every suffering I endure for him has a role in the salvation of the world. I anticipate the time when Christ will bring me before his Father in the company of redeemed humanity to reveal and honor my role in his salvific work. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles at Pentecost. The heart of the mystery, Holy Trinity, you bestow your love on Mary and the disciples, creating a community of reconciliation that conquers sin's legacy of abandonment, isolation, and death. And Jesus, your Holy Spirit, present in the church, is my promise of forgiveness, no matter the gravity of my sins. You promise me that where sin abounds, your grace will be even more abundant. You invite me to frequently receive your reconciling love and in my joy be a living example of your reconciliation in all that I do and with all I meet. You give me a mission of more value than all the gold of empires past or present. You have given me a holy family of brothers and sisters to help me be faithful to your call. In your church, you give me shelter from Satan's power until I am safely with you in the communion of saints. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of Mary, body and soul, into heaven. 
Blessed Mary, your assumption, body and soul into glory without bodily corruption signifies your role as the highest honor of our race and prefigures the restoration of our own human nature even beyond its former glory in and through Christ Jesus. I pray, Mary, that you help me understand how marvelous a being I am, body and soul, made in the divine image and likeness. Help me believe that my human nature with its holy longings broken by sin will one day be restored inviolate to eternal vigor, beauty, and wholeness. Your assumption foreshadows for me the physical resurrection of the elect and the promise of eternal ecstasy for those who cooperate with your son's mission. Increase my desire to be counted among them. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary, Queen of heaven and earth. Dearest Mary, you countered the enemy's dark powers with total obedience and humility. And for your victory, you are crowned by the blessed Trinity as the Queen of heaven and the Queen of the world to come. I am invited to believe that humble obedience to Christ and his church is my shield against the corruption of sin and the world's dark powers. I understand what violence and hate in my own life I need to confront with silence and forgiveness. I consider how I am tempted to meet power with power so I can learn better where I need to grow in humility and trust. I measure my thoughts, words, and deeds not for the accolades of this present age, but the age to come when Christ acknowledges his beloved before the heavenly court with his blessed mother. Amen. Good evening. I'm Father McManus. I'm a professor at St. Patrick's Seminary in Menlo Park and a parish priest at the Cathedral of Christ the Light in Oakland, California. Our first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Christ from the dead. And I'd like our intention to be for the fast and full recovery of all who are still suffering from the COVID-19 virus. A reading from the gospel according to Matthew. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the sepulcher and behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, do not be afraid. For I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Lo, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, <clears throat> and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is risen from the dead. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that faith in the risen Christ may permeate our lives. Amen. Hello, everyone. I'm Kevin Vost, and I'm joining you from Springfield, Illinois. I'm a psychologist, a speaker, and author, and uh, the author of a variety of books from Memorize the Faith to the Catholic Guide to Loneliness. So tonight, I would like to offer up this mystery for all of the lonely people among us, that they will receive succor from Christ and the Blessed Mother, and that we will remember to reach out to them. So the second glorious mystery, the ascension. Jesus ascends into heaven 40 days after his resurrection. Fruit of this mystery is hope. The scripture for this meditation is Acts 1, 6 through 11. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, Behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who ascended into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that we may cling to and live in our hope of God's faithfulness. Um, my name is uh, Simone Riscala, and I'm the Director of Program Growth for Endow Groups, which is a Catholic apostolate for women. We call women together to study the important documents of the Catholic Church. And I would like to offer uh, this decade to all women of the, of the universe to answer Pope Paul VI's call uh, to be spreaders of peace and also all persecuted Christians in the Middle East and in all persecuted countries in the world. And I will be joining Simone. My name is Lila Rose. I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm a speaker, author, and head of the pro-life group Live Action. And I would also like to add some intentions to pray for an end to abortion and for all families. So we'll be praying the third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descends upon Mary and the apostles and the fruit of the mystery is wisdom. And the scripture for meditation is from the book of Acts, chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly a, so a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. Our father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, pouring forth his Holy Spirit. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of his mercy. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that the Holy Spirit will fill us with wisdom and power to do his will. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Ignatius Schweitzer, a Dominican priest at St. Catherine of Siena Parish and Priory in New York City, Upper East Side, Manhattan. Uh, do a good bit of everything here, parish ministry, hospital ministry, teaching, uh, retreat preaching as well. Let us remember during this decade, the rosary uh, to pray for new outpouring of contemplative graces in our own day. Let's also remember depressed people. They might raise their minds and hearts to things above. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. At the end of her life, Mary is taken body and soul into heaven and is united with her divine son. The fruit of the mystery, devotion to Mary. Reading from Revelation chapter 12. And a great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. She was with child, and she cried out in her pangs of birth, in anguish for delivery. And another portent appeared in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon with seven heads and 10 horns and seven diadems upon his heads. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child that he might devour her child when she brought it forth. She brought forth a man who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. 
But her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God in which to be nourished for 1,260 days. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who assumed you into heaven. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save all souls uh, from hell, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven, that we may contemplate Christ with you and in you. Hello, my name is Ralph Martin. I'm talking to you from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And... Uh, I teach theology at Sacred Heart Major Seminary in the Archdiocese of Detroit, and I am involved with a Catholic ministry of evangelization and renewal called Renewal Ministries. We have a weekly TV program on EWTN and some daily Catholic radio programs, and we do a lot of mission work overseas. We just are sending out a team this week to Slovakia and to Cameroon and Africa. I'm very happy to uh, pray this wonderful fifth glorious mystery with you. The intention I'd like to uh, suggest is that we pray for 
everybody who's watching or listening to this decade, that we all may see God and see Mary uh, in heaven, that everybody we're interceding for and all our families and relatives and just everybody who we're interceding for would join us there also. Mary is gloriously crowned queen of heaven and earth. The fruit of the mystery is eternal happiness. The scripture for meditation is Psalm 45, verses 6 to 11. Your divine throne endures forever and ever. Your royal scepter is a scepter of equity. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Your robes are all fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From ivory palaces, string instruments make you glad. Daughters of kings are among your ladies of honor. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. Since he is your Lord, bow to him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you, Queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you, Queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you, Queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus who crowned you queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you queen of heaven and of earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who crowned you queen of heaven and earth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, forever and ever. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, gate of heaven. Lead us to the beatific vision. For our final intentions, for cardinals, bishops, religious, priests, deacons, and lay leaders in the church, that those who are faithful would be encouraged, strengthened, and protected, and their voices and prayers heard, and that they would have the courage to speak and act for the restoration of reverence and faithfulness and liturgy and doctrine in the church, that those in error will respond to the Holy Spirit's call to repentance, that those who sow confusion, false doctrine, and division, but who will not repent, would be silenced and made of no effect for the restoration of reverence to the Lord and faithfulness and liturgy. Thank you for all who have joined us tonight. We're deeply consoled by your faith and your prayers to pray with 10,000 souls is quite a remarkable experience. And so as we close in these prayers, please know of our love and gratitude for all those who've led us in this rosary and all those who've prayed with us. Be strong. Be holy, the church needs you. Be a light in the midst of the darkness, and the darkness will not stand against the goodness of Christ in you and among us in this glorious and holy church that is his own. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and res resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Our Lady of Cabejo, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Thank God bless you. you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.